morning. I want to sound as calm as possible. This is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life, and I am a first grade teacher in Southern California. Now, I had to put science fair projects out for display, but I have to label them. I haven't done it in a half, 50 minutes. So this is what you're gonna witness today in this teacher vlog. Let's do this. I'm not done. Oh well. Very overwhelming morning. But I gotta say, like, I truly got treated today, and I'm just like full of overwhelming, amazing feelings and just very loved and taken care of. Number one, I walk in here, my sister's in here waiting with a coffee when I came back from the library because last night i couldn't sleep okay guys this is what takes my sleep away and please comment below if this happens to you guys so outside on the bulletin board i like to put pictures every month of students with a backdrop of depending on the holiday or the season the weather whatever it is i just i'm very spontaneous and back in december pto members said if i want a backdrop of a snowman and if you saw my vlogs back then you probably saw it then so I took a picture of a backdrop of a snowman and actually it was not even a backdrop. It was one of those things where you put the head in, I don't know what they're called. But anyway, long story short, I did that picture and I figured that could last like Valentine's, January, winter kind of like time because it fit perfectly in. And outside I put like a quote from um, Olaf, um, some people are well worth melting for. So I thought it fit really well with Valentine's winter season. Now, of course, they bring me a backdrop today with Valentine's from PTO member. Today, mind you, today is Valentine's, Cupid's favorite teacher. And I want to take a picture immediately because I totally do. So going back to losing my sleep, that was the weirdest thing because last night I was thinking, I'm like, well, in their memory book, what am I going to put for... February because January will be a winter picture. Sorry, I keep hearing noises. I'm not sure. Ooh, spooky. Um, so anyway, long story short, let me sit down. What in the world? I'm so tired. Um, I was thinking, oh my gosh. So January, they will put in their memory book for the snowman, and that'll be the picture for January. But in their memory book, they won't have a February one. So it's like maybe I should do a Dr. Seuss team. And I was like, I ran to Target last night. I'm gonna show you what I got. But I ran to Target last night. I just wanted to see if they have mini erasers. I'm just going to be honest with you, but I was too late on getting them for Valentine's. Just, um, I don't know. It skipped my mind. I was going through a lot physically with my health. I'm feeling better. I don't know if you can tell. So last night I went to Target and I saw Dr. Seuss uh, stuff and I said, Hey, I don't, I, how do I take your stuff? No, you said chips. All you have, you got me on the chips. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Chips. you know what kind of day it is when it's almost the end of the day and I still have half of my coffee and do I have to say more if you're a teacher you know exactly what this means right hectic busy my fault I will tell you why let me set you up right here so that I can keep doing this okay so last word I said before one of the teachers got me on the tips she invited me to lunch I didn't bring lunch I just I've been busy and I've been busy not taking care of myself. Last thing I said was Dr. Seuss. I went to Target, saw Dr. Seuss items, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna create a backdrop. 
Then remember that I was purging and cleaning out my daughter's bedroom last week, last weekend, because I've been doing that since December. That's another story for another blog. But I said, you know what? I need to get a furniture piece for her and stop spending so much money and blah, 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 blah. You know, that mental thing. I, I did it. I This is like, I'm afraid it's going to break because the paper's so thick. But what ended up happening is I left it. I, and last night I was like, I can't. I should have grabbed it because that way that would be the Dr. Seuss picture. Well, no, I kept thinking about it. I'm like, Maria, you have to do oh it's messing it up guys i ended up taking both i figured out when i this morning it was like a light bulb i'm like wait the librarian here on campus has her, the library themed and she even has a backdrop of dr seuss since like beginning of the year that's her theme in the library so it's like i'm not gonna buy anything i don't even need it i don't know why i was thinking <sighs> i messed it up guys Okay, keep going, Maria. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, so I took him into the library today, took that picture. I took the picture of Valentine's with Mickey Mouse on the rug. Okay, I'm talking too fast, but I don't want to waste your time. So long story short, I ended up taking two pictures of them, one for February and the other one for, I don't know, just like a February beginning of March picture and then I'm gonna go into St. Patrick's I know it sounds crazy but I love them and all of them will go into their memory book and let me be honest when that I don't know if you saw my vlogs but one of the kiddos that I had was leaving and I was looking through that memory book I was crying I'm not even a parent so beautiful I can't even and I add pictures every time I can on field trips I add field trip pictures it's just amazing anyway all of this to say that took my sleep last night and it was all fine i actually even sent them to costco and they're ready to pick up so all of that is fine and dandy i'm glad it was perfect attendance today so i don't have to worry about doing makeup pictures or whatever anyway i come back from lunch and i walk into the workroom and i'm like let me check my box to see if there's anything new or i have to send anything out to the kids and then okay I have already thought last night, I don't need to do a Valentine's project. I've worked so hard on Christmas projects. I spend so much money. I don't need this in my life. I shouldn't feel guilty. Walk into the workroom. I can't, I don't even have it. This is sitting like extras of these because teachers here like sometimes leave extra stuff like this just in case, you know, we're doing last minute things like this teacher right here. And I'm like, that is so darn adorable. It is from, created by Colette. I, I'm hoping I said that right. Um, HomeTreeBlogWordPress.com. And it's from Teachers Pay Teachers. So there it is. And I was like, oh, it's getting stuck again. Um, that's adorable. And I'm like, what can I do? Cut construction paper. Let them do it. It, it's fine they I gave them two pieces of paper one red one purple it was like this tiny guys and they cut them into little pieces with their little tiny hands and then they glued them here for glue stick and they're not even dry yet because apparently I'm breaking my machine apart they're turning out cute look at this this one didn't have an accident so I'm gonna show you this one it is adorable I don't know why I'm laminating it it just looks a little bit you know a little bit more high-end if it could be high-end I'm not sure but again cut my business magnet things on in half i'm putting a magnet in the back and then they're gonna put it in their fridge and that's gonna be their little gift for parents whatever i did something guys i just feel so horrible not being able to this thing is seriously like stuck for the love of the world ay 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 maria que punteria seriously they, this kid put a lot of um construction paper it's thick like a i'm just helping in i'm helping in that is horrible guys i'm gonna break my machine who decides to do this kind of stuff at the last minute maria hernandez that's who crazy crazy teacher but guess what i did an activity with them and I feel good about it, even though I'm like using all of my recesses and panicking. No, wait, I'm not even done. I had a couple of my volunteers that come during um, 
their lunch recess, my former fourth graders. And then I hadn't even thought about giving them like a Valentine. So guess what I did? In the morning, right before I left to come to work, I hope this doesn't get stuck. Um, I printed something of free on TPT. That's all I did. I print, I think I put Valentine tags free and for pencils. And let me show you. I got these from Target last night and they pack, there were a pack of 10 for $1. So I thought that was cool. And then this is what the little Valentine things look like. This says Valentine's, you're sharp. Hashtag teacher going crazy. Last minute projects. Hashtag I'm done. Check in with you later. glad I am not speaking fast right now and it's amazing how your demeanor can change immediately because you know like the difference between students being here versus like just having this downtime after school I am like extremely exhausted part of it it was my fault I mean who decides to do a project at last minute that would be me and it was all worth it guys, it was just all worth it. But even if I hadn't decided to do that, it was going to be crazy anyway. I'm just glad that I sent something home with them. They look really cute. And I did end up messing up a lot of them. My machine is still working, thankfully. I'd open a lot of gifts and I tried to do show you that as well. I was like trying to get those thank you cards away today because if i don't do it today immediately like i will forget like right now after school another towel came to give me another mug and together with that some really cute she writes beautiful another uh a cute pack of notepads so i thought this is adorable and now do i want to write a thank you card right now probably not i'm gonna have to but like i have no more energy this is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to show you what I got from Target because I don't want to leave without doing that. I'm so glad like I am more calm and I'm sorry like I went crazy a couple hours ago. I just can't. I was cool. I was in a rush and I wanted to make sure I covered as much as I could. So here we go. Here is the bag I got from Target. Obviously it wasn't a Starbucks bag, but you know, mom exchanged it for me. And I did get a furniture piece for my daughter for her bedroom and it's all built. My hubby surprised me with that and a bouquet of flowers that I will insert a picture of because I don't want to walk over there right now. I might have to, but I'll insert a picture. Then I will also insert a picture of the Valentine's I gave my students. They turned out really cute. Thankfully, I had a parent volunteer walk in and say, hey, do you need anything? I have 20 minutes. And I'm like, I need you now. Thank you so much for walking in here. So she hooked me up. By getting those Valentine's ready to go. Um, let me show you what I got from Target. <laughs> The pencils and the Valentine's are from the pencils were from Target as well. And the, the the Valentine's pencils and the erasers were from Dollar Tree. I showed you that in another vlog. But at the dollar um uh, at the dollar spot. Is it dollar spot? I don't even know, you guys. Um it's a bullseye? I don't know. I'm tired. I can't even think. But they have these Dr. Seuss pencils for one dollar, and I just want to make sure they take one have a couple more things that I bought at the beginning of the year. I think there were like some headbands or something. Headbands? Headwear? Head? Something. I bought 24 of these. 
They're really cute. Yes. I like the energy that I have. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so I bought the... I'm not going to pick it up. Those. And then I found this cute banner and I thought I would like use it for the beginning of the new year. Now, I know what's happening to me now that I say that. But let me finish doing this um, small mini haul of Target. I found this banner. It was $1.00 and it's his best day ever and i thought i would do, use this for the beginning of next year so yeah that's cute then i also found these so really i just got three different items one two three yes i found these and i thought about it just yesterday and i'm glad i found them i thought they were really cheap for one dollar i did brought my I did bring my tools today so that I can place this. I'm gonna show you. I think I'll place the black one here. I'm gonna place one of these right here so that I can hang my purse because I'm always like looking for a spot to hang in and I don't put it in a closet. Um, we're very lucky here. Like I don't have to hide my stuff. I'm always, I always have my stuff laying around. Even like my wallet sometimes is out um, because I have to pay for something at TPT or whatever and my phone is always out and about i don't have problems with that so i want to hang my purse right there i just i just love these when i saw them so i grabbed two of these this one's going to go by my doorway um just because it's cute i don't know if this was meant like to be a chalk thing like so you can i don't even know but until i maybe i'll put my room number i don't even know what i should put here but it's going to go by my doorway that's that and that's all i got guys from target and I'm going to get rid of this bag. My daughter wrote me a letter about my tools. And then that's that. I don't have anything more. Now, let me tell you why I'm feeling anxious and why, hence why I'm fixing the library and stuff. I promised my kids it would be ready by Monday. Now, is it going to happen? I don't know. I still have like at least 200 books in a box there. I don't even know if I'm going to get to them. But one thing is for sure, I know why I'm doing that. I started vlogging almost a year ago. And I started vlogging when, during the time I get really anxious about getting ready for the new year. I know. <laughs> Hold your horses, Maria. It's February. What are you thinking? This is when I start getting like a smidge anxious about, just start thinking what things I may change that I did this year, what worked, what didn't, and how I'm going to, yes, change my classroom. I change my bulletin board every year not necessarily the theme because i keep this i try to keep things like black primary colors and if i want to change the theme i just change the characters on the wall because really like i can't go wrong but i'm still gonna keep mickey mouse i think i'm gonna add a little bit more to it i do like the mickey mouse theme I don't overwhelm my walls with like the theme. I just feel it's very overwhelming for me. It might not be for my kiddos, but it is very overwhelming for me. So yeah, that's where I've been. And I think that's why my mind is going like at a hundred miles an hour, just because I start thinking of those things and I know it might be crazy, but it just happens to me. It's kind of like if you're a mommy and you went through that pregnancy um, you know that last month, like you just want to clean everything, like your eighth, nine month. You're like, I want to clean this, and I have to sanitize this, and I have to clean, 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 clean. That's how I get every single year, like starting March. I seriously do, and I'm gonna look back at my vlogs, but I'm pretty sure, like, it's coming close. I'm close to that date because. I feel it like my body's telling me you must keep organizing. You must get ready. You have to become better than this year so that you can service those kids in a better way. What went wrong this year? How can I help with behavior? Did that, did that procedure work? Do I have to change it? Like, is it too late now? Should I start something new? I don't know. It's just that time when you feel like the year's not over yet, but it is also not the beginning of the year. Like you feel like it's coming close to the fourth quarter. I just can't, I mean, I may be crazy, huh? Guys, I am like not sad. I am not, 
I just, and I'm sorry, like I'm speaking so low right now, but I was high energy and moving all day long. I, <laughs> I'm going to drink my coffee. God bless you guys. Take care. Please comment below. If you start feeling the way I do, or it's just me, I'm just like craziness. Please let me know if you start thinking. I know like during lessons and whatever, you might reflect like, I'm not gonna do that next year. But like, I'm talking more like about this, this gut feeling like you have to start getting ready for the following year. When does that start for you? Or does it even start for you this year? Maybe it's just coming August or September, whenever you start school. Is it just me? Please comment down below and tell me I'm not that crazy. You know what? Every staff member here says I'm the crazy person that starts in March. So you know what? I'm just going to take it. Go ahead and comment below. I'm okay. I'll take it. I'm a big girl. I love you guys. Thank you for following me. Thank you for staying and watching all the way through. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you've been subscribed, thank you so much for your fidelity. I appreciate you. Every single one of you. And your time that you dedicate to watching this crazy girl. Sorry that I went crazy for a moment and I'm like up and down. That's just me. This is Maddie's way of life. Thank you. God bless.